Hey, good morning, YouTube. This is a beautiful Saturday morning. It's April 29th, 2017. And today we're going to look at the Pittsburgh Clamp and Cut Edge Guide. Uh, I took a little run down to uh, Harbor Freight this morning because I need to cut a couple of 24-inch uh, pieces off of this uh, 3H plywood for a couple covers that I'm making. And I saw this clamp guide in the store the other day. And I thought, you know what? Now is a really good time to own one. Typically, we'd grab a two by four and a couple clamps and clamp across this when you're, you know, either ripping the long ways or cutting across the four foot width of a four by eight sheet of plywood. Um, but boy, this clamp would sure make life easy and quick. And then, of course, if you got a twenty dollar or twenty dollar twenty percent off coupon in your hand, makes these pretty affordable. So. Uh, I think these things are like 23 bucks, and of course with a coupon you're down around 18 or thereabouts, and of course pick up a free tape measure while you're in there. Um, so let's uh, talk about this for just for a second. If you're not used to cutting plywood with a, a hand skill saw, yeah, circular saw, um, basically I want to cut a 24 inch piece off of this plywood, so I've made a mark at 24 inches. But then I also took a measurement on my blade from the left side of my fence to the back side of my blade. And on my particular saw, that's inch and three eighths. So I have taken uh, and added inch and three eighths to come up with a new line. And basically all you need to do is put this clamp guide across your plywood line that uh, marks up on both sides because we've measured this plywood on both sides. Um, stick the clamp on and make the cut. That's all there is to it. I'll be making two cuts off of this 4x8 sheet plywood. Um, but you know, I was in there to the Home Depot and to look at, you know, what would it cost just to buy a 2 foot by 4 foot sheet of plywood? And it's about the same price as buying a whole dang sheet. So, let me put this uh, camera up on a stand real quick. So there we go. So I thought, you know, I'll have you use for the rest of this plywood. So let's just go get a full sheet and uh, there's an opportunity to own another tool. So let's put the clamp on. You can see that stop right there and that one's adjustable with this uh, the clamping mechanism on this end. It actually pulls that far shoe towards this shoe. Pretty easy for me to see that mark from here. I'll just line this mark up and then clamp her down. She's tight. That's all there is to it. Let's make her cut. Whoops. You know what? I gotta make it from the other direction. I almost screwed up on Good, so that's my 24 inch cut. That's my inch and 3 eighths further. I mentioned 3 eighths from this side of my saw to the side of my fence, and uh, we're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> piece and the clamp pops right off. So I'll make uh, some more marks. I'll cut me another piece. I'm going to throw some paint on that real quick and then I'm going to find a spot in my shop to hang this. A uh, pretty handy tool. One thing we noticed is I didn't have this supported too well in the center and it kind of bellied out so uh, I should turn that sawhorse 
the other way because the plywood's kind of thin and it won't belly out the second time. But anyway, we caught it, so we're good to go. Thanks for uh, watching and commenting and subscribing, and uh, we'll uh, do it again.